One of the common tenets between Muslims and the people of the book before all else is faith in Allah. There is agreement and belief in heaven and hell, and there is agreement and belief in angels and in all prophets. Their faith in all the prophets other than the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah bless him and grant him peace. We also accept all of them, believe all, and have faith in all. They also have the lawful and unlawful, and most of them are the same. The only difference is that pork and wine are acceptable in Christianity, while pork is unlawful in Judaism, and wine is considered to be hideous. For example, there is circumcision in Judaism as well, and there are many aspects, descriptions and explanations in the Torah which conform with the Prophet's, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, guidance such as clothing and manners. These are important in terms of uniformity, but the only problem with Christianity is their doctrine of Trinity. Their faith breaks up Allah into three, Allah, the Holy Spirit and the Prophet Jesus peace be upon him. This is totally wrong and Allah warns about this in the Quran and informs us that there is only one God. Because the Prophet Jesus peace be upon him is Allah's servant who eats, sleeps and prays. We see this in the Bible as well as the Quran. He continually prays to Allah in the Bible. Would Allah pray to Allah? He gets hungry, thirsty, he needs to sleep and he does so. Would Allah sleep? Could there be an instant when Allah sleeps? Musevi dini de eski bir İslam dinidir. Ama tabi İslam gelince asıl din İslam olmuştur. O e, hükmü e, kalkmış oluyor. Yani İslam esas olmuş olur. Judaism is also an old form of Islam religion. But with Islam's revelation the actual religion has become Islam and the other one is abolished. Islam, the religion brought by our Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, is the principal faith. But their compliance to their own law is also acceptable in the Quran, since Allah says the people of the book exist. We call them to Islam, but even if they do not become Muslim, they are still the people of the book. Because they are loyal to the law of the Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Christianity is loyal to the law of the Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, and survives as a community devoted to him. We call them the people of the book. Muslims can marry them, take their daughters as wives. One eats their food, meat they have prepared. You can eat what Jews have prepared. You can go to their homes and eat with them. One can be their guests and talk with them. You can stay over in their homes and they can stay over with you. What does that mean? This is a bond of close friendship and brotherhood. Ama mesela tek Allah'a inanmaları, namaz kılmaları var, mesela oruç tutmaları var, namusa dikkat ediyorlar, helale harama dikkat ediyorlar. Yani For instance, they have faith in Allah only. They pray and fast. They are meticulous about modesty and observant of the lawful and unlawful. Both Christianity and Judaism are intervened with Islam. They have various distorted aspects, and without these, they would be a religion of Islam as well. They will comply with the Quran and follow the Quran, but not yet. When the Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, comes, Jews and Christians will totally abide by the Quran, inshallah. The circumcision of children is a religious service carried out for thousands of years among Jews. This is the same in Islam. All children are born uncircumcised and then they are circumcised. Bunlar hep düzeltilebilecek şeyler. Çünkü ana kaideler ve ana inanç konuları durduktan sonra these are all correctable things because one's main tenets and principles of faith are sustained. Others can somehow be rectified. Yet, that will become more explicit and evident with the appearance of the Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, and Hazrat Mehdi, peace be upon him. And all will be completely put in order. Armenians are a separate nation from us. Their religion is also different. Allah has created them that way. For instance, Allah informs there will be differences in religion as well. Allah informs us in the Quran that there is not only one religion, but also Christians and Jews. Even Sabians and pagans are mentioned in the Quran as well as many other human types and peoples. These have already been explained in the Quran and Allah notifies us of the laws we have towards them. Allah tells us to have compassion for them and even safeguard the pagans when they go from one place to another, there is a verse about this. Even though these people are idolaters, Allah holds us liable of their safety until they arrive in security. 
take into account the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, when there was war, and despite this, Allah commands to protect them. There are different religions. This is normal since Allah created them. But we will have understanding, compassion, and kindness for them all. We will be caring and protecting. Surely there will be unity among Muslims in Turkish Islamic Union, because this is a command of Allah, and we will have ties of brotherhood. As Allah says in the verse that we created us as nations, and no Muslim is able to object to this. He will say Allah created us as nations, and he will act as required. There is no place for discussion here. Israel is of the lineage of the prophets, of the lineage of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, peace be upon them all. They are a holy people, the Jews, very intelligent and very well-mannered. They are very careful over what is lawful and unlawful. They fear Allah, they love Allah and believe in His oneness. They are fastidious in their worship, and it is their right to be happy. These are people who have preserved the traces of Ottoman upbringing, who have maintained it in their families. And these people, the people of the book, believe in the oneness of Allah. They fear and love Allah, and are careful over what is lawful and unlawful. Therefore, it's the Masons that create enmity toward the Jews.